every single time you put skinny jeans on? Are you insecure about the way your body looks in certain pants? Well, I have all the answers for you. I really do. I want to talk about tall and skinny ladies. I want to talk about being a tall and skinny lady and trying to find clothes that looks good on me. I want to show you guys some outfit inspo so you guys can figure out what type of pants you should be buying. And I want to go into how I found my style with my body type. If you're like me and you're tall and skinny, then this video is for you. Okay, so normally I wouldn't have this mess beside me, but we're gonna get into this. I wanna talk about my body first so that you can kind of like look at me for reference. I am 5'8", I am 121 pounds. I'm pretty slim, my body is pretty slim. I'm a size 26 um, waist, I don't know, my chest size. I think it's 32 inches though, 33, something like that. I got long ass arms and long ass legs. My legs are very, very, very long. With my body, it is hard to dress. I cannot step out the house in skinny jeans, which is crazy because that's all I used to wear. I would put skinny jeans on with like sneakers and I would look like a clown. Whenever I put shoes on, it makes my feet look like bowling shoes, clown shoes, whatever. I have size like 10 feet, 9.5, 10. So you can only imagine what that's like with really skinny legs. I can't wear a lot of boots because my feet are so big, so I need a size 10. But size 10 usually comes with thicker ankles, which means they don't fit my ankles and they just fall. I finally learned how to dress for my body type. I'm no longer wearing big ass boots with little skinny pants. I don't wear skinny jeans anymore. I wear all the type of pants you're about to see. So I'm gonna just talk about those for a second and show you some outfit inspo for our body type. Tom, skinny ladies unite. Okay, so quickly before I actually start, um, where do I buy my jeans? I buy my jeans, my pants, I thrift them. I thrift a lot because I told you it's hard to shop. So sometimes you just gotta find things that are like made for you. So I thrift, I shop at Urban Outfitters quite a bit. That's about it. Okay, so these pants right here. These pants are some menswear pants. They're Cherokee, I think that's Walmart. I don't know, I got them at the thrift store. I like boot cut, I think this is boot cut, tapered, I don't know but this is what the actual hem looks like. So when I wear it, it looks really good because you don't see how skinny my legs are and it just adds like a nice cinch to my waist because I have really long legs and I have a slim waist. I wear high-waisted things because it gives me a little bit of figure and it also just makes, I don't know, makes my body pop a little bit and then it doesn't show like, hey, she has little toothpickies as legs, which is fine. I actually love my body. Um, I do love my body. I think it's very like elegant. Um, but sometimes I don't like the way that it looks in certain clothing. Obviously, I think we all have that problem no matter how beautiful. We could have just got a BBL. We're still not going to like our body in certain clothes. So um, I do like that cut because it makes my figure look really good and it just suits my aesthetic. It suits my style. I would say my style is like a mixture of like tomboy girly. I incorporate little tops with big pants or big tops with little pants. By little, I don't mean like skinny. I mean like shorts, bike shorts, things like that. All right, so this pair is one that I absolutely love. These are my thrifted Jacob pants and they have a flare at the bottom. They are, I like when I think about the fact that I thrifted these, I'm just like, how did I get so lucky with these pants? Like. They are, they're made for me. They fit me like a glove. They make my body look good. They're the perfect amount of high-waisted. They make my butt look good. They make my thighs look like not too skinny. They make me look like I have a little bit of curve because of the tightness of the denim. So try and find like high-waisted things that hug your thighs and start to loosen at your knees and give like the bottom half of your legs, like make that a mystery. So flare, flare jeans are really good because they add like, some type of figure to my body and if you have a body like mine it could do the same for you the bottoms just look really good if you wear big sneakers with it you won't look like a clown which is nice so i say that's worth a try okay so these ones i used to not like because they're like a cropped flare so they're really like flowy bottom as you can see and i used to get a little bit insecure because i was like oh my ankles look so skinny um, most of us have skinny ankles. Even a lot of plus size people have very thin ankles. I just feel like, I don't know, it's 
it's a natural thing and I like really really was overthinking how my ankles looked in these pants but I think they look fine they do look pretty slim but I think it suits it it looks really cute with the right sandals and the crop looks great when I wear like really thin shoes when I wear like big shoes with this unless they're docks doesn't look that good if I'm feeling myself and I want to look good and show off my figure this is the one it shows my curves on my bottom half, but it doesn't really make my legs look super skinny because obviously they're flare. The bottom of the jeans are very, very wide and it kind of hugs my shoes. They're also really long jeans. So again, I'm tall, so I need long jeans. And these literally fit me like a glove. They look like they were made for me. They're high-waisted, so they kind of like cinch at the waist and give me like body yaddy yaddy. And then I have like the paired crop top and that's from Zara with it which looks super, super cute. So there's no like style name, but it just says BDG Flare, the Urban Outfitters, and they're, some, they're my favorite jeans. I think I got them on sale, and um, yeah, I absolutely love the bottom of them because I feel like they just make my legs look like I have a figure and like, if I'm being honest, I don't have a cute little butt, <laughs> but I don't really have like, you know, body. I have body. And that's okay, but these jeans make me look like I have like body, you know? <laughs> okay, so this dress I got at the thrift store. I don't know the brand. All I know is that I need to fix these straps. I love this dress. It fits me like a glove. I think a nice lace like cami type dress is perfect for our bodies. They look very elegant. On some people, it could look a little too sexy. I think it looks fine on every body, but like I know that like Sometimes when you have a thicker figure, things look a little, they just look sexier. Like I could wear this to work, for example. I don't have a job, but let's say I had a job. I could wear this to work. But if you have like big boobs and a big figure, it might be considered inappropriate for work, which is so sad, but like it is, it, it is what it is. Like for some reason on our body types, my body type, um, things look different. This will give a more elegant look on my body. Um, again, any woman can pull it off. This is not me shading anybody. It's just I just know how the world perceives different body types and it's so sad. So yeah, I love this. It's very, very, very cute. It's tight, but it's not too tight. So it just kind of like looks like it's draped on my skin and it's really beautiful and it's the perfect length to give me leg, but not too much leg because sometimes things are too short on me. So. It is a really beautiful dress. This is something that you would just go to the intimate section of the thrift store and look for. The dress section doesn't usually carry lace. You have to go to the intimate section. Check both, but that's where I find mine all the time. Okay, so for this pair of pants, it was not a high-waisted look, so I decided to go for a tight top because it gave me more waist. Um, these jeans were baggy as well. They're not flare, but they're not boot cut, but they're not skinny. They're definitely like just there, like like baggy jeans, I guess you could say. They're long, they are thrifted, and the brand is Simon Chung, Chang. I don't know, I can't really read it, it's in cursive. Simon Chang, it's looking like. And again, it's not super, super high-waisted, but it's not too low-waisted. When I have this type of waist, I like to tuck shirts in because I feel like it adds like dimension to that area of my waist, and it looks really good. Okay, these ones, I don't have the item next to me, but they are Fila biker shorts. Okay, so for this outfit, I decided to go with some biker shorts and a concert tee. I have a couple concert tees. I have the Travis Scott, Janae, J. Cole, Mariah Carey. I just alternate the same outfit with different tees, and my go-to is the KOD tour, though, because, you know, I'm proud to represent Dreamville. But I like to pair it with some biker shorts. I got these at Salvation Army and they are Fila brand. I'm telling you guys, I thrift like everything. And um, these biker shorts, all biker shorts, don't give me body. These are one of those items that no matter where I buy them, they will not give me body because I don't have that figure. So it looks good on me, don't get me wrong, but I'm never gonna look like the girls in the Fashion Nova ads because I'm not that person. They're not even that person. Do you know how many BBLs those girls got? So I just embrace it and I just wear it anyways. Does my thigh gap show a lot more than usual? Yeah, does my leg look a lot skinnier? Yes, but there are certain things that you can't just be like, oh, I'm not gonna wear that because I look too skinny because like we all got beautiful bodies, so just embrace it. So yeah, I wear biker shorts with concert tees on the regular and I think it looks really cute. I just can't wear like super big shoes because then my legs look too skinny. So I just opt for like my Falcons, which are like a more thinner shoe or my Vans. 
I don't go for like the filas or the new balances because then I look like a clown. Okay, so these are some of my favorite jeans. I got these from Urban Outfitters and they are uh, high rise baggy jeans, size 25. And these are high waisted baggy jeans. The bottom, I tend to roll them sometimes or you can just wear them normal. I don't know if they're boot cut, I don't know what they are. I just know they're baggy. <laughs> the waist is super, super cinched and snatched and it makes my waist look like I don't know why. I think because they're baggy, so like it goes like that and then the puff of the bagginess goes out, so it makes me look like I got body yaddy yaddy, but I don't. So I like these pants because they're baggy, but they still like are form fitted in the right places. I know it sounds weird because they're baggy, but it just it just works. I tend to wear these little tops like this cheetah one that I have on right now. And I like this because it rests just above like the um, the hem. So there's a little bit of tummy showing. Um, this top is really cute because it kind of puffs out a little bit, which means A, I don't have to wear a bra. B, it makes me look like I have a little bit more chest because it puffs out. It's very comfy. I got this one from Shein and it was like six or seven dollars. Very cute. And then I just usually wear something like this with sneakers or with little heels and it makes a really cute look. It all depends on what the vibe is. You can literally dress this up with heels or dress it down with sneakers and it'll change the whole outfit. Okay, so these pants are some of my favorites. I got these thrifted, but I have seen these at like every thrift store since I bought them. They're like everywhere, just like, they fit like yoga pants, so they make my butt look really good because the material is like a cotton, but they look like dress pants. They're like pinstripe pants and they have two little buttons. I don't know, they look very early 2000s. I love them. They are flared at the bottom, not a super wide flare, but definitely a flare going on. They're kind of high-waisted, like mid-waist underneath the belly button, but like just underneath. And I usually pair this with either a hoodie, a concert tee, or as you can see in this video, this sporty Ralph Lauren top. I like to tuck things in when the waist is like mid slash high, um, because I feel like it looks I don't know, it just gives me a little bit more waist. I got the top thrifted at Black Market in Toronto and I think it's like Ralph Lauren Sport or something like that. And it looks really good paired with these pants. It makes them very casual. These pants, I can literally wear them to a meeting or I can wear them to the club. It all depends on how I wear them. So they're very, very convenient and they make my legs look really good. They make them look long. They make me look like I have a butt. And then I just have this dress from Urban Outfitters. I'm obsessed with this dress. I love it. It's a little short, but nothing a little pair of shorts underneath can't fix. It's really cute. I love the neckline because it makes me look like I have a little bit of chest with the cinching in the middle. Um, so it kind of like gives me a little bit of definition. I don't need to wear a bra with it. There's cinching on the waist, so it also snatches your waist up nicely and then it flows out so you don't see, you know, again, the skinny, skinny legs, which is not a problem, but I'm just letting you guys know like what my insecurities were and how I've worked with them. Um, at the end of the day, like I'm not afraid to show off my legs. I wear bikinis, I wear shorts, like I don't mind. My legs are my legs. But sometimes I just like to make my body look a little nicer. So yeah, dresses like this where like they go out always look really good on me. I love bodycon dresses too, but I get really uncomfortable and then you can't like sit a certain way. So I like comfy ones like this. So that is my spring slash summer try on haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have a body like mine and you need some more outfit inspo or you want some more opinions on how to dress for your body, let me know and I can do another video for like um, more summer related clothing like shorts, skirts, more dresses, things like that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye.